Hey everybody, it is Kerry Ho from thesongbirdtree.com and I want to welcome you to episode 40 of the live stream, How to Belt Part 1. Now obviously there will, there will be a part 2 um, because this is a huge topic um, but a very exciting one. So we're going to get a really good head start on that topic today. So welcome to all who are here and also welcome to those who are watching later. Now, if you've joined today or you're watching it later, you obviously are very interested in the subject of belting. Um, and I want to let you know of something super exciting. If that is you, you're going to be super excited about this. I'm actually holding a Belt Like Beyonce 90-minute live webinar on the 15th and 16th of April this year. Um, and this is going to be an incredibly special webinar together. So I show up live and for 90 minutes, I basically conduct a very comprehensive workshop to teach you all about belting so that you can actually go off and belt those big, high, intense, long, loud uh, money notes like you've always dreamed of. Um, all the details are at the link that is showing up on the bottom of the screen and also in the description box. Now, there are limited seats um, to this webinar, so do not miss out, okay? Um, I really want to encourage you if, you, if you're really interested in the subject of belting, this is a really, really affordable way uh, to learn all of my tricks on, on how to belt. You're going to love it. It's going to be incredible. You're going to learn so much. So go and check it out. Check it out at the link below and then save your seat. All right. Hello, Just July. How are you going? And hello, Eduardo. Good to see you both and good to see everybody else as well. All right. Let's get into today's subject, which is how to belt. And we are covering part one of how to belt today. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about what is a belt. Okay. So a belt is actually a chest dominant mix brought above the vocal break, bringing greater volume, power, and intensity to your vocal tone. So no, it's not just singing, shouting, and yelling louder and louder as you go higher. That, that is not what a belt is. Um, a, um, a belt done properly and correctly so that it is healthy and it's strong and powerful, but also just has a, a, a sense of ease in, in its execution is a chest dominant mix. Okay, so it's actually part of your mixed voice, but it's where there's more chest in the mix um, and it can be brought a little bit higher above the vocal break. Um, and as I said before, it's that tone that you that we always want, you know, that greater volume, power and intensity in our vocal tone. So that is what a belt is. Now, today what I'm going to talk about is we're going to talk about three common hindrances to belting. Like why, why is it that people find it very difficult to belt? Three top top reasons why and how to actually overcome these hindrances okay all right who's ready who's ready to get into the how to belt um uh subject right now okay i hope you're excited we're going to get into it now okay so what's the first hindrance the first um uh common hindrance towards not being able to belt or finding it super difficult is is simply a limited chest voice capacity as i mentioned before a, a belt is a chest dominant mix. So that means that, you know, we if you don't have um, a great chest voice capacity or you find it really hard to access your chest voice, then you're going to find it hard to belt, all right? But the good news, the good news is that there is a solution. We can absolutely develop your chest voice capacity, okay? And the first way we're going to do it today is we're going to start to just access your chest voice with speaking because when we speak, we are actually using our chest voice and also using what I call speaks, uh, well, speak sing exercises, okay? So that's where we sing exercises that are pretty much sung like they are spoken on pitch rather than full on sung, okay? So that you can really develop your chest voice capacity. Hey, Nesta, good to see you. Hey, Debbie, good to see you again. Love it. All right. So let's first of all access your chest voice through speaking. So everybody, I want you to say this with me. My mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. All right. And I just want you to say it just where you normally speak. I want you to speak it out as if you are projecting to a crowd of people and you're actually reading poetry or a speech or something like that to a crowd of people. Let's try that again. Ready? And my mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. And again, my mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. Okay, fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that exact thing, all right, 
that we just spoke out and we're going to speak sing it in an exercise so it goes like this my mother makes me mash my mini m&ms on a monday morning Ooh, ah. my mother makes me mash my mini m&ms on a monday morning Ooh, ah. my mother makes me mash my mini m&ms on a monday morning Ooh, ah. now is everybody still with me now the point of this is that you don't over sing this you are you're literally just trying to Take, take your spoken voice into it and you're still speaking it on pitch. So my mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. My mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. My mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning. Ooh, ah. Right? And as you actually practice this more and more and you actually practice just like kind of speaking it on pitch, what you'll find is that you're able to in time incrementally take that up a notch and up and up and up in pitch so that you get to a point where even over your vocal break, you're still able to get those notes easily, okay? It does take time to practice. Um, you know, don't don't sort of um, be impatient about this, um, but the whole point of it is that it needs to be spoken, all right? We'll do a couple more. So, my mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning, ooh, ah. My mother makes me mash my mini M&Ms on a Monday morning, ooh, ah. And also, one thing to, to avoid is to don't 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 like try and yell and scream it as you get higher and higher because that's what that's what we tend to do. We tend to go, "My mother makes me mash my," and then we're like, you know, it's wondering why it's like hurting our throat because our larynx and everything is getting really tight. So that's why keeping it in that spoken tone is so important. Because if you've observed before, when you speak, it's really easy right? When we speak, we don't, we don't really think about it. We just speak. Um, and it's so cool. Um, hey, Mel, good to see you. What a surprise. Okay. So after we've accessed, um, the chest voice with speaking and speak singing exercises, another thing that we can do to develop our chest voice capacity is to, is to practice the glottal onset. Now, an onset is just a fancy way of talking about how you start a note. Okay. So if I start a note like this, ah, Ah, everybody say that with me. Ah, ah, or ah, ah, and oh, oh. I'm actually using what's called a glottal onset. So if you if you actually did that with me just now, you would have felt a sense of sort of like something coming together in your throat. Ah, ah, try that with me. Ah, 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 oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, so. All right. Um, so I'm just laughing at myself because I, I feel like I look and sound really silly. But anyway, um, when that when you do that, you're bringing your vocal folds really together. So this is called full vocal fold closure. And when that happens, you are activating what you need to activate for that chest dominant mixed tone that we need for a good belt. Right. And so this is what we want to practice, the glottal onset. Now, what's a good exercise for this? OK, everybody just pretend like you've you've kind of like discussed that something you've forgotten something you go oh oh everybody say it with me oh 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 okay now taking that same spoken feeling into it you're gonna sing oh 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 Once again, this is an exercise that as you sort of do it every day and everything, right? And we make sure your jaw is loose as loose as well when you do it and you keep that spoken feeling in there, that you'll be able to just slightly take higher above the vocal break area in time. Now remember again, you don't want to be yelling, you don't want to be going, ah, oh, ah, oh. I'm sorry if I just blasted your ears off right there, right? You wanna be you don't want to be doing that, you want to keep that spoken. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 we got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. How's everyone doing? Let me know how you're doing. Let me know if, uh, you know, getting this, uh, vibing with this. Anyway, all right. Second hindrance to um, being able to belt easily and freely and with power is pulling up chest voice. Now, what I mean by that is doing this, like, ah, ah. Right? Oh, <laughs> sorry, 
again if I blasted your ears off. But basically what that means is that you then get your larynx like hyped up really, really fast. It gets really, really tight. All the muscles around here actually get super tight. Okay, and, um, and and that's not the way we want to approach a belt. A belt is not about just yelling and screaming and just trying to pull chest voice up as high as you can. It's a chest dominant mix, right, as I said before. So, but lucky there is a solution to this, okay? Um, hey, Ken, good to see you. Hey, Susan, I'm glad you're enjoying the exercises. Yes, the uh-oh is fabulous. I'm, I'm glad you're, um, you're, you're agreeing with me, Mel. That's awesome. Now, there is, a, of course, a solution to um, the hindrance of pulling up chest voice and that is we need to relax the laryngeal muscles and open your throat um, and so one of the greatest exercise for this is a guh guh all right so everybody say for me guh 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 all right and, and you can see my jaws really relaxed my tongue's also really relaxed and I've kind of put a little bit of a dopey feeling in there like guh 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 that helps me to to keep my larynx down and neutral rather than going and hiking up like we normally do when we have that problem of pulling up chest voice. So the exercise goes like this. Whoops. Everybody with me. Now at the top note, you want to be the dumbest and the dopiest. to do that on my own i trust that you were coming with me okay um dj i'm loving that you're loving these exercises fantastic all right cool so um that is one of the things that we need to be very mindful of when we are learning to belt and that it is you know that we do it with with relaxed laryngeal muscles okay so that's one way now the other thing is you must lift your soft palate at every breath point. So what do I mean by that? I mean that when you're singing a song, right, every time you want to, you, you have to take a breath to breathe in for that phrase, you also need to simultaneously, yes, I'm asking you to multitask, lift that soft palate. Let's locate our soft palate. So it's just right at the back of the mouth, throat, at the top roof of your mouth. You should feel little sort of soft tissue there. That's your soft palate. And what you want is for that to lift, right, in order for your vocal folds to have plenty of space to vibrate so that when you're belting, it's not like constricted, okay, that there is actually a whole heap of space to vibrate, all right? So that the, the best way to do that is to lift that soft palate. So you can do that with a yawn stretch. So you pretend like you're about to yawn, but you don't actually do the full yawn. So let's just yawn together to try and access it. So just go, oh, oh. now are you feeling that sense of lift in the back um, part of your throat and in the roof of your mouth? So that's your soft palate lifting. And so what you want to do is just pretend you're going to do a full yawn. Don't do a full yawn, but then take your breath in and sing. Okay. So that is super important to help you to stop pulling up chest voice cra like crazy so that you don't yell and scream, but you're actually belting properly with a chest dominant mix, okay? All right, the third hindrance um, towards a um, not being able to belt with strength and power and without strain is a weak mix voice, okay? So as I mentioned before at the start, I defined a belt as a chest dominant mix that you can take above your, vo your vocal break that gives you intensity um, and in volume and power in your vocal tone. But if you don't have a, a, a strong mix voice, then, then of course your chest dominant mix is going to be weak, right? But of course there is always a solution. Strengthen your mix, okay? Now, I am gonna show you two exercises today to really strengthen the mix and, and actually strengthen, namely, excuse me, the chest mix, okay? So, we're going to sing a na 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 descending arpeggio. It goes like this na 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 na. And I want you to sing it as if you're scolding someone. Like na na. <laughs> right? Na 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 na. Like that. Actually, we'll start here. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. And, run. and I want you to really open your mouth. So it's like, 
right? Not, not like too crazy wide, but we do need a wideness because we're belting, but we also need it to be somewhat relaxed, okay? So we're going na, 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 now, you still need to take that sort of spoken quality in there, you know? But for this one, because we're really strengthening the chest mix, we're really looking at it from a point of view of speaking in such a way that is a bit more like emotional and intense. So that's why I said you got to sing it as if you are scolding someone. Nah, 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 like that, okay? So we've just taken it to another level from the first exercise that we did accessing chest voice. This is really to help you to access that chest dominant mix. Now, what about those belty notes where you where they're high and they're loud and they're long, okay? So, so we just wanna uh, tweak this exercise, holding the top note and then descending on the arpeggio to practice that, okay? So, na, 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 na. Now remember you're scolding someone. Na 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 before you actually sing this, okay? It's gonna make it so much easier. Na 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 na. Well done. So there you go. I just gave you um, three solutions in in terms of being able to really get started on the belt and really the foundational parts of a belt, okay? So developing your chest voice capacity by accessing the chest voice with speaking and speak singing exercises, practicing your glottal onset, also relaxing the laryngeal muscles and opening up your throat um, and strengthening your mix. Of course, there is going to be a belt, how to belt part two, because if there's part one, there must be part two. So stay tuned for that. We're going to be going even deeper into things like, uh, well, I'm actually not gonna tell you, it's gonna be a surprise, okay? but you can come back for that one when that is um, scheduled in the next couple of weeks. All right. Well, in the meantime, it's live Q&A. So do put your questions in the chat and I'll be happy to answer them. So while I'm waiting for your questions, let me tell you about next week's live stream. Okay, guys, 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 just put down everything that you're doing next week, all right? Next Monday at 7 p.m. EST which is Tuesday, 10 a.m. ADT. You cannot miss this. I have got the most incredible special guest, Mary Saunders Barton. She is world-renowned musical theater coach. And we are gonna be talking, we're continuing our topic of belting. And we're gonna talk about belting on Broadway. And we're gonna find out about just her eclectic life and how she actually ended up a musical theater performer. And now one of the world's top uh, world-renowned musical theatre coaches, right? She's travelled around the world. I met her in Australia when she came to um, speak at uh, the International Vocal Coach Conference um, thing, um, you know, four or five years, no, probably six years ago now. And I just was blown away. She was incredible. I literally hunted her down. I was at the back of the auditorium and I ran down the stairs to hunt her down and I was like, Mary! My name is Kerry. I'm from Australia. Can you please coach me? <laughs> and um, since then, we we started a great friendship um, and a coaching relationship. Where you know, over the years, she, you know, I've met her as my vocal coach, and she's just amazing. She's just beautiful personality. You're gonna learn so much from her, and you're gonna love her. You're gonna fall in love with her. So make sure you get onto. The link that is coming up, it's also in the description box. Set yourself a reminder. You don't want to miss this one. I promise you it is going to be worth it, okay? Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... Um, any questions, guys? I'm still waiting for your questions. If you have any, Rosanna is asking, does this include chest? Yes, yeah, so belting is a chest-dominant mix, so we did cover that before. Um Hey, Debbie. Oh, yay. Having fun. I'm glad that you're with me still. How high was that? We went up to D5. <laughs> D5. Um, 
Oh, Kent is asking, what kind of microphone do I prefer? That's a really good question. So it depends on what for, um, but if it's um, like for performance, I do usually like to use a Shure, Shure microphone. Is it S58, I think it's called? That's the main one that I use. I also use this one, which I'm using for the live stream. This is a really good one too, an AKG something or other i'm so sorry i really don't know much about um you know microphones and stuff <laughs> but i do know that these are the two the two that are my favorite um just clear crisp sound you know um so yeah sorry if that was so unhelpful now um does anybody have any other questions do feel free so while while i'm still waiting for your questions right i want to let you know in case you missed the announcement at the start of today's um live stream that i am holding a belt like beyonce 90 minute live world webinar and look if you don't like beyonce um that's okay insert your favorite powerhouse vocalist there okay so belt like whoever it is that you love, who, you know, powerhouse vocals. I am going to be um, covering step-by-step, um, -step, um, I guess, I get, comprehensive lesson on how to actually um, get you belting like Beyonce or like your favorite powerhouse singer. All the details are in the link below. 90-minute live webinar, um, 15th and 16th of April. Go and, go and check out all the details and register for your seat because seats are limited. And as soon as I get to capacity, we will stop selling um, um, seats, okay? So make sure you don't miss out. Go and click on the, the link in the description box below. All right, let me see. Hey, people, can you hear me? I think my microphone just went off for a little bit there, but hopefully I'm back. Um, first of all, you're not alone in feeling like this. It does tend to take a little bit of time to apply um, exercises into a song. There's always going to be a feeling of a gap there, but the more you practice applying the techniques into the song, the the better and the and the 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 um, I guess that you, you know, you close that gap. So what do you do? So basically you start to apply the actual exercises into songs. So for example, the exercise that I did before, na, 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 right? Take that exercise and sing through a song that you love um, that includes some belting on a na, right? And, and, you know, applying everything that we talked about, lifting the soft palate, making sure you're, you're speak singing it, that sort of thing, right? And then, um, and, and you put it into a song. And once you feel really great singing singing the song um, on the na na na, right? Then you try and put the words into that na na place. So what you do is you keep singing the words, but you sing it as if you're still singing na na na. So your jaw posture, your mouth posture, and everything is still saying as much as possible in a na position. And then you sing the words. So that's that's the way. Um, the best way to go about it is to not just practice exercises, but to actually practice your exercises into your songs. Okay. Anor, do these exercises deal with preventing the voice from getting tired when one sings in the fifth octave? Um, yeah, absolutely. So lifting the soft palate, the gug gugs that I was talking about, the gug gug, and, and keeping your, laryn your laryngeal muscles relaxed, all deal with those things. Hey, Ted, so good to see you. It's been a while. Um, cool. And DJ is asking, how do I know if I'm belting from the wrong place? When do I when I do high belt, I feel it is in my head, but it should still be in my chest. Okay. So depending on where you're talking about, DJ, but basically if you're belting, it does need to be chest dominant, which means that there's more chest in your mix. Okay. You shouldn't be feeling like you're in a complete head voice uh, feeling because then you're probably in your head mix or you're actually singing. Um, in, a, in, a, in a strong head voice, I guess. Um, you should still feel a sense of grounding and your vocal folds coming together um, and that sort of thing. And so, you know, but again, you know, this is a technique that takes time to master. So practice through what we went through today um, and, you know, possibly check out my Belt Like Beyonce webinar um, and you'll, you'll be able to, you know, in time learn how to maintain that chest dominant mixy feeling rather than flipping into a head voice feeling. Yay, so good to see you, Ted. Um, all right. What do you think will be the best exercise to enable one to sing in the pharyngeal mix? Um, 
exactly what do you mean um and all i mean the the exercise that i actually um spoke about today the na that's one of the best ones to access the chest mix which is what we're talking about when it comes to belting um so if you can clarify what you mean there that would be great um now um, yep. So I think that's all the questions. I can't see any more questions, guys. So thank you so much for joining me today um, on the How to Belt uh, Part 1. Remember, there will be a Part 2, so stay tuned for that. And, of course, next week, uh, Belting on Broadway with Mary Saunders Barton, world-renowned musical theatre singer, Do I mean teacher. Do not miss that. And, of course, go and register or check out the details for my Belt Like Beyonce 90-minute live webinar, which is happening really soon. All right, Songbird, you know that I am always believing in you. So why don't you get out there, get grounded, take flight and sing, and I shall see you next week in next week's live stream. Have a great day, Songbirds. Bye.